And he even has a section pretty late in the text where he calls, he calls it the rules for decision. I'm like, oh great, Jesus Christ has given me rules for decision? That's what I need. I need some Jesus Christ rules for decision because my decisions are, are hell. <laughs> I don't know if there's an eternal hell, but my life in this world is a hell and I need to learn much better decision-making capabilities. So he's got like seven rules for decision and, and but you start off there with the first two, just like the first two commandments, you know, he said are the most important. The first two rules for decision is decide the kind of day that you want be as specific as you want. What kind of day do you want? Emotionally, specifically, whatever. And, number two, say to yourself, if I make no decisions by myself, this is the day that will be given me. So, if you stay in alignment with the kind of day you want, a happy day, a joyful day, a peaceful day, a flowing day, and you make no decisions by yourself, meaning with the ego, then you'll receive exactly that kind of day. Promise. He says, I promise you. And then if you slip off and you forget <laughs> one and two, he has three, four, five, six, you know, he's going to call you back. But he does say it's much harder to come back when you're gone. We all know this. I see heads nodding. Yeah. When we start to have a bad day, oh, it's not easy to snap out of it. You know, it's like, it's like it spirals. We go down, 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 down. But he's given us specific instructions on how to purify our heart. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. He's given us specific instructions. And he even says about his workbook lessons, you may not believe these lessons. Some of them you may fight against. You may actively resist these lessons. It will not matter. Just do them. Wow. That's a lot of trust. You may actively re resist the lessons, don't, it doesn't matter, just do them. And by doing them, your experiences will show you that they are true. So for me, that's what I took the course right there at face value and I thought, if he's giving me instructions and he's giving me a way out of this uneasy feeling, of this feeling of hurt that I feel, that I'm going to Try him out. What else did I got to lose, you know? Give it a try. In fact, it got to me, it was like, give my whole heart to it. I ended up going so into it that, you know, I've got people that are working with me now that are sprinkled around the world. One of my friends, she's so devoted to the Course and the practical application of the Course that she's had two levitating experiences. The body is levitating. And that's for her is just a symbol of her freeing her mind. It's not like, you know, you can't pin your hopes on that. I mean, those, those are two experiences, but that's where it goes. There's been removal of symptoms from bodies. There's been a raising the dead experience. There's, there's amazing, miraculous experiences that are happening from devoting the mind to this teaching in a very deep and uncompromising way. All those things that are promised, all the promises in the Bible come true when you give yourself, your heart and your soul over to them. Everything good that has been promised from, from God throughout the centuries and throughout history comes true, comes into awareness as you follow it without exceptions. And so, when you're asking that question, I can totally relate to it because I can go back in the parable of David and look at that slice where the, that was the very question that bothered me the most. It bothered me, it drove me to be politically active, to change the world, to try to make the world a better place. And yet, through my lessons of working with the Course, you can start to realize that a healed perception is no small gift. And a still and quiet and tranquil mind is no small gift.
Thank you.